ready to get things going in Group H. And the 2022 World Cup is going to be Uruguay against South Korea. Another interesting clash. The team's getting ready. And I'll be ready with all the details in only a few moments. So Uruguay against South Korea or the Korea Republic. The first uh, Group H match. And uh, we're looking at Uruguay's 14th appearance at the World Cup. They finished third in the qualifiers with 28 points behind Argentina and Brazil. South Korea's 11th appearance, they finished Group A second place with 23 points behind Iran. And we're down with the starting lineups after the anthems. So here are the lineups. 4 4 2 formation Uruguay with Muslera in goal. A defense made up by Vinia, Jimenez, Arojo, and Captain Godin. Darasqueta, Benteco, Torreira, and Valverde in the middle. Suarez and Cavani in attack. For the few players in this team who are probably taking part in the last World Cup, as many others we know at this tournament, but such is life and the unstoppable force of time. Thank you for attending our South Korea 4-3-3. It's a Q in goal, Kim Jin Su, Yung Won, Kim Min Jae and Tai Hwan in defense. Lee Jae Soon, Wu Yong and Beom in the middle. Huang Ui Jo, Song Kim in the captain and Huan Hee Chan in attack. Should be another interesting match. We're waiting the kickoff. There's the whistle. We're on the way in Uruguay against South Korea. As we are quickly reaching the last group and in the first match day. Already shaping up the uh, standings in, in some groups, of course. And uh, if we are to talk about uh, South American sides, well, look at the shot now. South Korea with the first chance. That was a good save by Muslera. Uh, I was about to mention Argentina's shocking defeat two days ago to Saudi Arabia. quite something and uh, well of course Ecuador starting off the World Cup in a winning manner in the opening match against Qatar 2-0 but we're also going to see Brazil play today against Serbia so definitely stay tuned for that it will be today's uh, final match great run here oh he's been pulled and uh, might see a yellow card or maybe not. The referee being quite forgiving here, considering it's the first foul. And uh, now a really good opportunity for South Korea now. A free kick from the right side. Son Yu Ming is there to uh, provide the cross. There it is, and it away by Godin. Good job. Kim Young won. Intercepted by Cavani, but he loses it. By uh, a foul. 
think the attack ended abruptly for South Korea. They're looking to get another chance. They have started this match unexpectedly well. Longball trying to find Suarez. Ends up in uh, Kim Sung-gyu's hands. It's another foul. Long ball in the box. Good in once again. Defending well for Uruguay. Here's Danascaeta to Cavani. Back he'll pass to Torreira. Wonderful through ball. Malvante passing to Torreira. Danascaeta can't shoot. And now he tries it. Just wide of the goal. First quarter of an hour gone, and uh, we've seen quite a few things already. Plenty of fouls, first of all. Free kick uh, for South Korea. Shots on its side. It's already started the match, I would say. Good looking pass here. He Chan has lost the ball. Also committed a foul there, but referee has given the advantage. Pentaco, Cavani, wasteful in possession. Korea made nothing of it. Cavani, excellent pass to Valverde. And now the shots! Stopped by the goalkeeper. Then, second time he's able to retain the ball. Torreira. No third day. In front of goal. Ooh. His teammates couldn't connect with that ball. Yellow card shown now to Huang Hee Chan. The previous foul. There's a replay of it. And a change already. Son Hu Ming is stepping off. I think it's an injury. This is definitely a huge loss for South Korea. Trying uh, as a collective not to let this blow ruin their morale. Another foul. And the referee has a lot of work to do in this match. It wasn't clear from the first 10 minutes. Once again, here he had to decide if he was going to book the Korean player or not. Definitely awarded the foul and uh, this free kick to Uruguay. Korea remain in possession. The attack is halted. Vinya. Dallas Trying to find a teammate. There's Cavani. And now Torreira loses the ball. Gets to Cavani, who also loses it. Huang Hee Chan. Taking matters in his own hands. Good run, closing by Vinya. South Korea, in, nope, it's gonna be a free kick. Awarded to Uruguay. I thought South Korea could continue that attack, but uh, the referee stopped the play. Once again, yeah, how many times did I say this? A lot of fouls in this uh, first half. 
lost uh, count of them and I'm going to wait for the halftime stats to see the exact number. They have the shots on target, one for each side in the first 15 minutes. Another attempt for South Korea, but it goes wide. Could have done a better job from there. That's a good position. We are fastly approaching the half-time point. Nothing to separate these two sides. Of course, we have eventually encountered the first goalless draws at the tournament a couple of days ago. He's going to enter with the ball. Cavani. Excellent pass! Not a bad shot, but could have been better. I thought uh, the ball was meant for Suarez. Um, Really doubtful would have missed from there. But they get another chance from this corner now. There is Keita. Torreira. Torreira in the box. He's going to take the shot himself. Means another corner for Uruguay. Torreira crosses, it's headed away, and the ball gets to Godin. Valverde is going to shoot now. The goalkeeper can't retain the shots that aren't very challenging. They're giving away uh, quite a lot of corner kicks. But they're able to uh, face them well enough. Third consecutive one now. Torreira once again is going to provide the cross. Uh, less than one minute away from half time. Goalkeeper retains now. And there is the half time whistle. Goal is between Uruguay and South Korea. It's been action packed. It's been uh, quite brutal. Can't wait to see the number of fouls, as I said. And uh, we're still waiting goals. Remains to be seen if we'll get any in the second half. Back with the second half, and as promised, I have taken a look at the number of fouls. South Korea leading with uh, four by three. And also a booking shown in the first half to the South Korean players. Um, Sonia Ming has been replaced in the first half, picked up an injury. And um, as I said, it's a big loss for South Korea, who still managed. Uh, pretty well so far at least without him but definitely only by defending we did not see them create that many chances after he stepped off you cannot deny that he's a key player that's um, the Koreans fifth foul Suarez uh, very very ambitious and completely off target with, uh, with this one Pass from the keeper to Kim Young Won. Good job. Going to be to Lee Jae Sung. He's been stopped. He's back on the ball. And the shot. On the region target. And the Slara is very unhappy with his defense this time. And could have spelled danger. Closing the angle there, but still. The corner, out of the way by Rojo. Let's do in Belm. The shot is stopped. And now Bentaco trying to advance the pass to Vinya. They're given away straight at the opponent. Half 
on Uijo. That's an excellent pass. I think Nurse get to him because I think he definitely should have scored from this one. An improper connection with the ball there, bad shots and uh, oof. This is quite a waste. It was a golden chance for South Korea to open the scoring. Back in possession. The Asian team continuing to pressure Uruguay in their own half. Good looking ball on the left. To John Woo Young once again, the player that replaced Son Heung-min. Fernandez tackles. And Valverde keeps it in. Suarez has to get it to Cavani. A bit late, but still he opens out the space there on the right side for Arujo. Trying to get it back to the striker, Suarez. That was a very poor first touch. Valverde wins it back. Pentecourt to Godin. Torreira, Suarez. There's the pass to Cavani, a shot that uh, completely misses the target. Plenty of chances, but not that many shots on target. And now Darwin Nunes is going to replace Cavani, and Song Joon Ho is stepping in for South Korea. Intercepted by Jimenez. Pentaco. There is Kaita. Pentaco again. Just the pass to Nunez. Suarez, Torreira. Oh, that's an excellent tackle. It was about to pass it to Nunez. Kim Taihuan. And Uijo gives the ball away. Torreira. Nunez tries to find Suarez. Defended by the Koreans. Hong Uijo now. Trying to get past Godin. Get a free kick. We haven't seen any goals yet, but uh, it's a really thrilling match. It's uh, keeping me at the edge of my seat. I cannot predict which team is going to score first, if any, because um, they are playing uh, well, you know, when they have possession, they are passing it around well, it's just that when it comes to finishing, that's what both teams were lacking. Well, maybe not this time, it's a goal! South Korea taking the lead in the 74th minute. At long last, they find the breakthrough. Well, it was a long wait, but it was certainly worth it for South Korea. Their good passing has finally been rewarded, and at long last, a very good, convincing shot on target. Plays low, Thomas Lera's right, and they take the lead in what's going to be a very interesting last quarter for now and now. Uruguay appeared to be stunned after considering this goal. Look at that once again, just uh, giving the ball away. That was a poor touch from the Korean player as well. Arojo. Torreira. Arojo. Can't find his teammate, but it's not uh, lost yet. Well. Wow. You can see that's a shot at, on target, an attempt. Look more like a deflection towards the goalkeeper. Hong Ujo passing to Hong Hee Chan. South Korea continuing to attack. Breaks down this time. Nunez. Suarez. Pereira. Luis Suarez moving it on the left side. 
cross now, early. And it's well defended by the Koreans to get the ball far away from their own box. And now a chance to attack. Hungry Joe. Stopped by Jimenez. Excellent uh, tackle there by the Uruguayan defender. They are lacking speed in their attacks, Uruguay, and the passing can be easily read by the Koreans. And it was anticipated and uh, the cross is blocked. De La Cruz replacing Vina now for Uruguay. I I think there was also a change on the Korean side. Not sure I saw correctly. Anyway, a throw in for Uruguay. Valverde with the ball. Gets it to Nunez. The shot saved now a second time. No, he can't get back on the ball. They need to get it away. There it is. Koreans defending well and uh, taking in the pressure. Nunez now breaking free. Oh my goodness. Terrible miss. Why not keep it low and place to the keeper's left? That would have been a, a set of goal and seemed like an easy recipe. Goal kick and we're reaching the final minutes. We'll see how much time will be added. Three minutes. Throw in order to South Korea, they get a chance to keep the ball and uh, win some time here. Son Jun Ho. Lee Jason trying to move on the right side. And nice pass, Valverde brings the ball back for Uruguay. And this is their very last chance to get something in this match. It's a long ball. We have to get to it now. It goes out and that has been it most likely. Yep, final whistle and South Korea grabbed the first three points. Excellent start by winning this match against Uruguay. Just one goal, but a well-deserved win. They have been the better side, especially in the last uh, minutes of the match. Had more of the ball. Created more chances, passed it around much better. Overall, the better side, as I said, and a deserved win. That's it for today's second match. Two more on the way, and of course, expecting um, Brazil's first match uh, later on today against Serbia. Stay tuned for all the remaining action.